Hi, we're back. I'm Officer Basil with the City of Sheboygan Police Department and the School Resource Officer at Urban Middle School. And I'm Officer Holly Kehoe and I'm a School Resource Officer at Horseman Middle School. Uh, so we're here to talk to you today about um, some social media gaming safety. Uh, specifically, the three that we're going to talk to you about today are Roblox, Fortnite, and Minecraft, which I'm sure most of you have heard about, especially Fortnite and all the crazy dances. Um, so my goal by the end of this is to have Officer Bastel do a Fortnite dance. What do you think? Will, will you think about it at least? She will fail at her goal today. If he does one, I'll do one. Won't happen. Challenge? No challenge. Okay. So today we're talking about Roblox, Minecraft, and Fortnite. They are some of the most popular games, of, games among 4 to 13 year olds. These games can be played as a single player or as multiplayer online. Multiplayer includes chat and messaging features. So in Minecraft, people can build, mine, and create. Minecraft does not, or does have child-friendly servers available, which you have to request to be added to. Uh, this ensures that random players will not come into the server, as they will not have access. A single player is the safest option, as no one can join or chat with a single player user. Minecraft is an appropriate game for children to be playing, especially in creative mode. There is now an app called Multiplayer for Minecraft PE, which allows players to enjoy online play against other Minecrafters without being on the same Wi-Fi signal. The risk of running into another player with bad intent was minimal when networks were limited to the same Wi-Fi signal, but the ability to now play with strangers, parents must be more vigilant if they allow um, their child to use the multi um, you were. Yep. multi-user multiplayer app. So the other game is Roblox. Roblox is a downloadable interactive game platform that allows users to play multi types of games inside Roblox world. Roblox has built in capabilities for friends lists, messaging users, and in-game chat. Um, Roblox offers account controls that let parents restrict kids can who kids can interact with on the site and what types of games they can play. You can control whether your kids can be contacted, who can message or chat with them, and a few other things in the contact settings. To enable these set settings, you add your email address to your kid's account and create a pin that prevents your kids from changing the settings back, which is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. The account controls are optional. Kids can uh, of any age can create an account on Roblox with has that have no parental controls. On accounts on kids under 13, Roblox automatically defaults to stricter settings, but a kid could change that back, and it doesn't change a kid from uh, lying about their age. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll never happen, right? So the last one, Fortnite. Um, Which is her favorite. Yeah, it's a pretty popular one. I'm sure most of you have heard of it. Um, but in Fortnite, there are three different game modes, Battle Royale, Save the World, and Creative. A, a Battle Royale game mode allows up to 100 players to compete in a player versus player setting. The objective is to pick up weapons, uh, ammunition, and bandages in order to kill off other players and be the last man standing. Uh, Save the World allows four players to work together towards a common objective on various missions against zombie-like husks. Some of the objectives include fighting off computer-generated zombie husks, save survivors, and defend equipment. So creative mode in Fortnite is much like the other creative modes, which acts as a sandbox game that allows players to build maps with free reign on what to put in their game, different types of game modes, and game time. Uh, in Fortnite, players are able to communicate in-game through both a text chat function as well as a voice chat function if a speaker and a microphone are hooked up. Players are able to mute other players if they do not wish to hear from them or can mute themselves if they do not wish to be heard. There is no moderation either the text chat or the voice chat functions. Um, so again, that's kind of the concern with Fortnite and these chat options. I'm guessing that no Officer moderators. Holly wishes she had the Fortnite function to mute other players often. Anyways, I hope this information helped you, and um, be safe. Make sure your kids are safe. Uh, so I'll try to um, challenge Officer Basil to a Fortnite dance. Uh, maybe you can let us know in the comments which Fortnite dance you would like Officer Bastel to do, and maybe I can convince him to uh, do one for you guys. 
Um, again, thanks for listening, and um, we hope you learned something. Have a good day. Bye.